If you are looking to buy a franchise someday, you are currently in danger of being fooled by a so-called best franchise list. I was scrolling through my LinkedIn feed and I came across a post that made me do a double take. It said the following, we're number one. It's named the number one franchise opportunity. And the text in the post made from a prominent franchising company also read the top 10 franchises in Australia with a link to that list. And the franchise publishing company who created it described it as a list of the top 10 franchises in Australia. But here's the thing, I've been in franchising for nearly 20 years now and I didn't even know there was a best franchise list in the country, just announced the best franchise in the country. It's because there isn't one. The gist of all this is if, if you're looking to invest in a franchise, you really need to be on the lookout for spin. Your spidey senses should be really tingling when you hear claims like this if they're not backed up very clearly that you can see. You see, brands get put on best franchises lists for all sorts of reasons. It could be a list created for SEO purposes for the website's uh, ranking in search engine. It could be because they've paid to be participating in a list. Or it could be that they're a client of the website they're on and other reasons as well. The amount of trust and reliance you can put on a list is in direct proportion to the reasons why that list are made. And I'm not saying that all lists are bad for best franchises, you just got to keep in mind is that what was the reason the list was created and what was the criteria? But why is this such a big deal you might ask? Well it's because most people who are attracted to franchise are vulnerable to spin. And this is because of the reasons and the attributes why you're attracted to a franchise in the first place. Things like no experience necessary, full training provided, full support provided, and that old chestnut that we always hear is that franchises have a far lower failure rate than independent small businesses. Just about every franchise brand has some of those attributes, or all of them, in their pitch somewhere about their investment opportunity. And to a certain extent, all those elements have an element of truth to them. But this is the thing. Over all the years and thousands of people I've spoken to of people like you invest about investing in a franchise, I know that you assume things about franchises. And I know that you often put faith in businesses just because they are a franchise. And then we throw a random best franchise list into the mix and that's where you can possibly take a wrong turn for you. Given I know so much about franchising and such a long experience in it, I can tell you what the best franchise list is. There isn't one. Now, this was absolutely not an effort to do a hatchet job on any websites or platforms that create best franchise lists. Far from it. But what it is there for, this video, is to make sure you don't put your faith in best franchise lists that don't have an established and clear criteria for them. As remember, there's no such thing as a best franchise list in the Australian market. And for more videos and content just like this and more, please make sure you subscribe at franchisebuyer.com.au and never miss a video.